In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the IK Foam Pro 2 Plus Foamer. If there was any drawback to the original IK Foamer or the IK Multi, was the amount of pumping that you needed to do to develop pressure and then continuing to pump it as you work your way around the car to maintain that pressure. Well, IK has solved that issue with the new Foam Pro 2 Plus. They've uh, installed a Schrader valve. So we'll take a look at the sprayer itself and everything that comes inside the box. Inside the box, you're going to find your owner's manual. Gives you all the settings and spraying and how to maintain it. You're also going to find a bag. Inside the bag is going to be a white little square piece of felt with circles cut in it. Those are filters. I'll show you how to change those. You also get two caps for the handle, a red one and a green one. You can use these to help identify what types of products that you've got inside the sprayer. You also get two more tips. What these do is they change the way that the sprayer sprays the foam. The green one is for a more of a dry type of a foam. The tip that's in the sprayer itself from the factory is a gray one, which is an intermediate and then the orange is for a more of a wet foam. And I'll show you how to change those. Then when it comes to the sprayer itself, as you can see, appearance isn't really much different from the original. But what you'll notice right off is that there's a stainless steel plug on the top. That's where the Schrader valve goes. To install that, you simply take a four millimeter wrench Unscrew the plug, set it aside, take your Schrader valve, thread it in. The Schrader valve's got a rubber O-ring at the bottom so you don't have to tighten it real tight for it to seal. Once it bottoms out, simply take a 12 mil millimeter wrench and just snug it up a little bit. That's all there is to that. This white triangular shaped thing on the top is the pressure relief valve. When you're pumping it up manually and you've filled the container with enough pressure, this will relieve excess pressure. Same with the, when you're using the Schrader valve and you're filling it with your air compressor. Once you get the container to maximum pressure, it will pop off and bleed off the rest of the pressure. That's when you know to stop filling it. You don't have to worry about it blowing up your bottle or blowing the top off the foamer. On the handle itself, you've got this red button. What that is is a trigger lock. Push it to one side and then it won't spray. Push it back. So for the caps, whichever one you decide you want to use, you take your extra foam orifices put them inside the handle along with the stainless steel plug for the Schrader valve. Then you simply take the cap, snap it onto the handle. Now you don't have to worry about losing any of your tips. Now if you find your foamer is not putting out foam like it used to, um, you're still using the same ratio on your mix that you used before you're pumping it up but it's just it's just not producing the foam like it should it's quite possible that your filter is plugged uh, typically what i like to do is after i use the foamer i'll run maybe a half a bottle of just plain water through it that flushes out the the filter a lot of uh, soaps and stuff they like to dry up and get hard and that'll plug your filter but if you've tried everything and it's still not putting out the foam like it should, it's quite possible that your filter's plugged. Simply screw the collar off, pull out your tip. You see the purple tip and a, gray a plastic tube. Simply separate those two. Take a toothpick, push it in there, and a little filter will come out. 
Take your little card with your new filters, pull one out of out, simply install it back in. Take your toothpick and push it down to where it's all the way to the bottom flush. Put your tip back on, put it back in the foamer, screw your collar on, and that's all there is to replacing the filter on it. So when it's time to fill it, simply pull the rubber cap off, fill it up with air. You can hear the pressure relief valve open up, let off all the excess air. Now what I will say about the IK sprayers is you do not want to fill the bottle all the way to the top. You need the air gap in here for it to continue to have pressure for when you're spraying. If you have too much liquid in here and you don't have much air gap, your spray time is, is very short. And you'll notice as the liquid goes down, your spray time increases. That's simply because you have more capacity for the compressed air to create the foam. So that's the IK Foam Pro 2 Plus sprayer. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to learn any more information on IK sprayers, just click on the link below. This is Ron Atchison. Thanks for watching.